Hi, Mark Allen here from Golf Lesson Sheffield. I uh, just wanted to share with you my thoughts on consistent iron shots and three main keys that I think you could follow and hopefully reap the rewards. Um, so I've got Aaron Badley here, um, who's one of the best ball strikers on the PGA Tour. I've selected him mainly because he's got quite an orthodox swing, um, but the main reason for this video is to show that no matter what the swing looks like in various other parts, I think there are three main areas that if as club golfers you can focus on achieving these, um, you will reap the rewards and hit more consistent iron shots. So from a, a face on perspective on this left image, you can see how I've drawn um, a circle around um, Aaron's head here and a, a yellow line just in line with his left shoulder. Um, these will become apparent as we go on during the swing, but you can certainly see from there he's got a very orthodox setup. Um, again, it's not a necessity, but I'm, I'm basing most of this um, on the assumption that the setup is reasonably sound, so the grip is reasonably sound, posture is reasonably sound, etc. So if we move the swing forwards, you'll see that first of all, the, the circle I've drawn around his head is to show that on the backswing there's no lateral weight shift there's no movement away from the ball all he's done is he's kept his head perfectly still um, and he's now certainly can put most of his weight onto his back foot but he's not overly shifted his body away from the ball so his head stayed within this yellow circle and then on the downswing he's starting to bring his arms down now and hands down towards the ball and this second yellow line i've drawn here is that Another golden rule would be to um, the, be the first part to get past this yellow line, be the hands. Most of the lessons I give, I see the opposite. I see the club head is flicked and the club head gets past this yellow line first and the hands are left lagging behind. This will cause slightly heavy shots, uh, different trajectories, which are difficult to control. So really, we want to try to get the hands to be ahead of the ball at this point and certainly getting past this yellow line first. This will make a, a ball first contact and a really nice compressive swing. However, as we're saying here, as he's bringing the club down or his hands down, he's, lead, he's got to lead with the hands and drive his hands forward. Now, this only really works if we bring the hands down on the correct angle. So as we'll see here on, from the down the line perspective, um, he's bringing his hands down on a, the perfect plane. As he's pulling his arms down, he's bringing them down on the perfect plane. And the perfect plane would be noted by the fact it's in between these uh, yellow lines I've drawn, but also it's coming down perfectly between his forearms at this point. If he's bringing the club down on this perfect plane and making sure, as we have see here, that the hands are getting to the ball first, he's going to get the ideal compressing um, strike on the ball. And then the third element, so the first element we've got is keeping the head nice and still on the back swing, not too much lateral sway. Second part is making sure that we bring the club down on the correct plane, but making sure we get the hands leading the club head. And finally, you'll see that every great ball striker has at least 85-90% of their weight on their front foot at impact. If you can stick to these three keys, then I'm sure you'll hit more consistent iron shots.